Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Now today's video it's Luton Town versus Stoke City match preview. But before I start guys, can we drop a like on today's video? The more likes I get on my videos, the better the video does. It reaches a much wider audience, so can we smash that like button? And also, let me know down below your score predictions and your pre-match thoughts heading into this game against Stoke City. Now, if Luton beat Stoke on the weekend, we actually could potentially climb to third in the championship. Just put that in perspective. We can climb to third in the championship. It's absolutely crazy. You know, we're, you know, compared to last season, having a better year in terms of what we've done so far. But results around other, you know, teams, if things will chop and change every single week. And in order for us to remain in those playoff you know, positions, we must stay consistent and we must keep getting results like we have done since Edwards has been the manager of Luton. I've liked what I've seen so far. He's had a month in the January transfer window to bring in his own players in. He's brought in a few of his own. Now it's time to see what he can potentially do with the players he's brought in from now to to the end of the season and also see what happens when things do go wrong because at the moment things haven't really gone too wrong since he's been at the club so it'd be interesting to see how he adapts or what he does in terms of when things are not going our way and this Saturday against Stoke things may not go our way we know we don't have the best of home forms despite winning midweek against Cardiff and we don't really have the best of records against Stoke um, so that you know it could be a defeat you know tomorrow and I hope it isn't because we've been playing really well but we need to make sure that we are on it because like I've just said home form hasn't been good enough and Stoke City are a really good side if we actually look at that Stoke City squad despite letting go one of their best center halves to go to Leicester City in Harry Suta who I felt was Premier League quality they've still got really good players at that club they've got Nick Powell who's I think one of the on the most one of the most underrated like midfielders in the championship very good number 10 they've got um lewis baker who is a former luton and town um, academy prospect who went to chelsea he's quality they've got ben pearson who was fantastic at preston north end went to bournemouth didn't really not really playing enough games for them and then just gone on loan to um stoke one of the best you know midfielders in the championship as well They've got Phil Jackie Elkart, very experienced centre-half on his day. So they've got really good players in, within that team. That squad's always underperformed and they are still not, you know, getting the results which they should be doing despite Alex Neil being the manager. Something is wrong at Stoke City because it doesn't matter who's managing that football club, you know, they still can't get the best at that cur the current squad which they have. They, I know Stoke City moaning about Nathan Jones, but, you know, Gary, Wa Gary Rowett couldn't do it, Nathan couldn't do it, you know, Michael O'Neill couldn't do it, and so far, Alex Neal's not being able to do it. Maybe It may look a bit prettier at the moment, but, you know, how much time is he going to get given um, in order to try and, you know, turn things around and try and get that squad up that championship table? There's a lot of teams competing for those playoff positions you know you've got West Brom you've got Middlesbrough you've got Watford you've got Norwich you know you've got teams like Preston Millwall you know Blackburn as well so so much competition to try and remain in those playoff positions obviously everyone looks at Luton and thinks yeah Luton I'm not the one that's going to remain in those positions but we need to prove a lot of people wrong and yeah just keep performing consistently week in week out and we need to get points at your home games in order for us to do that. We're in good form. You know, Elijah's in banging form, five goals in five games. His confidence has, you know, has skyrocketed since Edwards has been at the club. It, it, I always knew that Elijah and Morris could work out. You can just tell it was going to work. It just needed time. A lot of people I felt were too quick to say, no, it doesn't work. You know, where you need to, sometimes you just need to give things time. You know, when you buy a lot of players in the summer as well, it just takes time. It, sometimes it takes six months. It really does. It takes that long. And then one day it just clicks and then, you know, you do well. It's like starting a new job. You know, you may have like a rocky patch at the start, but then once it clicks and once you've got the hand, like you've got everything under control, you just, you know, exceed and then you just go up and up and up. And that's what I think we're just doing, you know, and then added on to fantastic coaching, added on fantastic recruitment, you know, everything's just, you know, piecing together for us to do, you know, consistently well um, on season on season. So I'm really happy with how everything is going. 
obviously, of course, I want something, you know, some points on Saturday. We need to do that. We need to use our, you know, the fans as an advantage to, you know, get behind the team. Could we see some potential new players? I'm expecting Drama to, to obviously start in that right back position. Nakamba, I don't think he will start, but I do think he may come on, um, come off the bench to play. The same with Musway as well, who isn't a new player, but we did recall him back. So I'm expecting a few things to happen um, on Saturday. Definitely see some new faces as well. But yeah, I'm really looking forward on what could potentially happen on Saturday. Hopefully we do get the win. What would be my score prediction? I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw against Stoke. I would obviously have loved love us to win, but I'm not too sure, to be fair. I'm not too sure. But um, hopefully... We can do well and yeah, like I said, get the three points. Let me know your score predictions down below. And I think that's pretty much it. I've pretty much covered everything. Um, watching the press conferences like this week from Luton, it doesn't sound like a player could come in. You know, we've been talking about bringing in a centre-half and potentially... You know, they haven't ruled it out, but it looks like they're just pretty much happy with the squad. We do have a space open within the squad to bring in someone in, a free agent. There are centre-halves out there which we can bring in who are not attached to a football club at the moment. So maybe with that is a route which we go down. I'm not too sure, but it would be nice to do what we did last year, like with Snodgrass, who was a free agent at the time, and we just brought him in to, you know, provide cover and provide quality. So... Fingers crossed we do, but if not, then we're just going to have to deal with the current things which we have at the club and the current squad. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well in the end and nothing costs us, especially when we didn't recruit in that position. But yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.